What's up, YouTube? It's C Money. About to show you what happens when a man who hates dogs suddenly transforms into a dog lover. Okay, here we go. Ridley, sit, sit. Now give me some kisses. Give me kisses. Ridley, Ridley, kisses. Hey, hey. Yum. Oh, come on. Focus. Come down here. Okay, Ridley. Hey, give me kisses. Mmm. Oh, not tongue on the first date, Ridley. Mmm. That's what happens when you have rotisserie chicken in your beard. Yum. What up, YouTube world? It's your boy C Money. Today is Wednesday, July 5th. I'm officially 10 days removed from Western States and I'm feeling pretty good. So, uh, went for a little run this morning. For the first time, was almost able to run seven minute pace, so. The legs are coming back. I'm burping up some rotisserie chicken because I just got back from Costco, but I'm feeling great. I'm ready to get back on the training schedule. Um, wanted to talk a little bit about the rest of the year. So, during Western States, I had a lot of time to think about 100 mile races. 100 miles is kind of what ultra marathoning is all about, and the men separate themselves from the boys. So if I want to be good at this sport, I got to figure out this distance. Instead of shying away, taking a break, switching to roads, we're going to get back after it. The answer to the question everybody wants to know. And with that, I've decided to take on the beast, the big dance, the big kahuna. LeBron, what's your decision? The 36th running of the Ultra Trail Mont Blanc. I don't know if it's the 36th, but it sounded more legit if I gave it a number. I know that this is the most competitive 100 miler, I think it's 105 miler in the world. Uh, I get a chance to race against a bunch of Europeans, all of the best Americans, plus a couple guys who've summited Everest this year. The field's gonna be stacked. From a financial standpoint, <laughs> it might not be the best move for me. There's Run Rabbit Run in the US, in Colorado, which is where I wanted to train and it has a massive prize purse associated with it, but my heart is telling me I need to go to France and compete against the best athletes. Two months is interesting. That's not a ton of time to get in a, a big training block, but it also means that hopefully, <laughs> knowing how close it is, I'll be able to focus and actually kind of commit those eight or nine weeks completely to this race. So more to come about what that training will look like, but we know it'll include night running, fuel stations that don't have gels, but have baguettes, hiking with poles. So we'll need to figure out how to, to, to work with poles, carrying a pack with uh, required gear, which is something I've never had to do. Eight, nine hour time zone difference and getting adjusted for that. So a lot of different variables at play. I'm extremely nervous, but I'm also super excited. There's really no pressure on me. I'm terrible at altitude. Haven't really proven myself at mountains, so. The, uh, the characteristics of this race are not in my favor, but sometimes you have your best performances when you least expect it. So tomorrow I'm going to Sports Basement getting a weight vest so we can start doing some legit power hiking. I was at Costco this afternoon, could have bought a two pound bag of peanut M&Ms and I said, you know what Chris, you don't need 200 calories per quarter cup serving. And I took it out of my cart, put it back on the shelf. So. We're already doing a little bit better. I got an extra bag of spinach instead, so we'll be eating healthy. More to come on training. If that doesn't work, I'm just gonna look at Tim Tolfson's training and add one mile to every single run he does so that I'm one mile fitter than he is. So look out, Tim. That's what we're doing, baby. So the rest of the year, instead of kind of piling on in a race every two weeks, we're gonna focus on two races. We're gonna do UTMB and we're gonna do the North Face 50, and that's gonna be it. Training officially begins July 10th. Let's get pumped. I'll talk to you soon. Um, in this fall, man, it's, it's, it's very tough. Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. Miami Heat. That was the conclusion you woke up with this morning. That was the conclusion I woke up with this morning. 